What's up, Slime Squad? Today, I'm showing you the ultimate no glue and one ingredient slimes. Most of these, you're gonna have the ingredients around your house, so check them out. We're gonna make fluffy, jiggly, shampoo, and edible slimes. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with the OG of one ingredient slime, toothpaste slime. So I added some color, that's optional of course, and then I'm gonna put it in my microwave for a few seconds at a time until you get a slime-like consistency, just like this. This slime is so easy and so fun to play with. For this slime, I started out with blue tack. This is the stuff you use to hang posters on the wall. I'm just stretching it to make it a little softer. Next, I added some hand lotion and began to knead and stretch it into blend. It still felt a little stiff, so I added some more lotion. I know this looks messy, but it will come together. I decided to add some more glitter because yeah, why wouldn't I? Glitter always makes it better. This almost feels like a cloud or snow slime. This next slime happens to be a one ingredient slime. All you need is coconut water shampoo and you stick it in your bowl. I use the OGX brand. And after 20 minutes, this is what you have. A clear one ingredient slime. How awesome is this? For this slime, you're gonna need some gum, any gum of your choice. I chose this one because it was brand new. I wanted to try it out. Um, I wanted to actually chew on it. But I, for this one, you're just going to take whatever gum you choose and stick it in a bowl. And on top of that, you're gonna add in your warm water. Did I mention this is another one ingredient slime? Next, you're going to just gently start pulling your gum in your water and just letting it absorb the water. And you're kind of like getting the sugars out and it becomes more stretchy. And of course, yes, you could just chew it, um, but it does make a slime. It stretches, it's got all the slime qualities. So it's a pretty easy slime if you have nothing else but gum. Next, you're gonna need some body wash. So I added my body wash, and I'm gonna color mine purple. You can color whatever you want, or you can just leave it its normal color. And I'm just gonna mix that up. I had a little too much pigment, so this one's gonna be very purpley. Do you like purple? I do. All right, see, it's not sticking to me, so it's perfect and ready. Now it's time to add some cornstarch. Whoa, 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 I had way too much cornstarch. So let me just slide that off there, yeah, okay. All right, so you add in some cornstarch, and you're basically, we're gonna make like a butter slime with this, and mine got a little too dry, so I added in some more body wash. Once it gets this consistency, it's perfect. No glue, butter slime. Next, we have another one ingredient slime. We're gonna start out with water, and oh my gosh, guys, look, I just got these in the mail and put them in my Ziploc. Look at all these colors that we're gonna be using, but this time, I think I'm gonna stick with the pink because I'm digging pink right now. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to open this, this pigment. You see, it's already trying to get me. I have the worst luck with these little things. So, so you need some water, and then you want to add in your pigment, or you could do food coloring if you'd rather. If I hadn't added this pigment, it would be edible. Are you wondering what kind of slime we're making right now? Okay, so we're making tapioca pudding. No, just kidding, we're making tapioca slime. Isn't it cool how this pigment didn't mix with the water and there's like a skin? That's pretty cool. So you've added your water, you've added your coloring, and now let's add in some tacky, <laughs> tacky? Let's add in some tapioca flour. So I started off with about two teaspoons. I wanna say tablespoons, guys, I so want to. Two teaspoons of tapioca flour. And then I just started stirring up. And it's just like water, nothing's happening yet because the next step is you gotta put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Be careful with the slime, it's gonna be hot. All right, it's been 10 seconds and I'm stirring it up. Still nothing's happening, guys. You're gonna have to do this. I think I did it maybe four times. Um, and I just kept adding more tapioca to it. And it actually took maybe a half a cup full. But don't do that all at once. It become a large just wad of disgustingness ball, and you don't want that. So a little at a time. And I think um, I ended up doing it about two minutes total. And look at her. She's beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, guys, the consistency of this line is amazing. Oh my gosh, and look at the color. I love the pink. It kind of reminds me of a clear slime, like a thick clear slime. I mean, it's, it's really cool. I can't wait for it to cool down so I can play with it. This tapioca slime is so cool. And it's kind of a one ingredient slime because water does water really count? I don't think so. But it's super stretchy and it's a little bit sticky. Overall, this is an awesome slime. For my next no glue slime, I'm gonna be using some peel off lip gloss. Have y'all ever heard of this stuff? This stuff is crazy cool. Um, so I'm gonna put some of that in my bowl, minus the cap. And I'm gonna add in some contact lens solution to activate this and turn it into slime. Look at this, guys. It's coming together. Oh my gosh, I love this color too. It's like cherry red. I'm loving it. It has the consistency of clear glue slime. Um, you can see through it. It has a great stretch. The color did come off of my hands just a little bit though. Our next slime is going to be a shampoo slime. You're gonna need some three-in-one shampoo. And you're gonna need two tablespoons. Once you've added in your two tablespoons of three-in-one shampoo, we're gonna use any shampoo that you want. I'm using this Pantene shampoo and I'm just gonna add in one tablespoon of this. To this mixture, we're gonna add in about three dollops of shaving cream. Next, you're just gonna mix it up, guys. All you do is mix, mix, mix. And the faster, the better, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you do wanna aerate it a little bit. And it's coming together. This is a fluffy, no glue slime, guys. It's done, awesome. Look at that jiggle. We tested this one and my mind was actually blown on this one. You make slime with mozzarella. So we're gonna need a pack, this is an eight ounce pack, of a pack of mozzarella cheese. And you wanna let it set out a little bit so it's not so cold and it makes it easier to come to slime. And next you're going to add in some warm water. And you start squishing it between your hands. No spoon required here, you gotta use your hands. Get down and dirty, this is slime. So I'm squishing it and it's starting to come together. It's becoming one mass instead of all those little shreds. And it's starting to stretch, guys. It's so awesome. So I decided to color mine. You don't have to do that. Uh, but if you do color it, use food coloring because you just might want to take a bite out of your slime when you're done. So you're just going to mix this in um, just by kneading it. And look at this. You would never know that this is slime. It looks like a white base slime. Or white glue. If nobody knows what that is, it's white glue based slime. Look at the stretch. Love it. Let's eat. Here's one of the easiest ways in the world to make some butter slime, AKA clay slime. So you're, you're gonna need some model magic and some hand lotion. And all you do is get your model magic clay and put your lotion in it and that's it Just keep on kneading it and it will become some butter slime and to top that off you got to add in some little styrofoam balls and if you don't have those glitter will work too just to make it pretty i love this slime it's so soft this next recipe was suggested to us by another instagram follower her name is georgia martin 111. thank you georgia so you need some water, and I think I put like a cup of water, and then I'm gonna add some yellow food coloring. Now, of course, you can add whatever food coloring you want, or none at all, whatever you wanna do. And these little chunks were driving me crazy, but I mean, eventually I got over it because they're gonna mix in anyway. So just stir that up. And next, we're gonna need a cup of confectioner sugar. And guys, we're gonna have to add some more, I believe, because it's just sinking in there. So add another cup of sugar, and then I started mixing it in, and just stir it in, and this is kind of like oobleck, but this is like edible oobleck, I guess, maybe? So if you have 
If it's too liquidy, add more sugar. If it's too hard, then add some more water. No big deal. This is kind of like a foolproof, edible, no glue slime, AKA royal icing. It's amazing stuff. So once I got the consistency I wanted, I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and start kneading it. And it has such a nice texture. It's, it's really soft right now and you can just mold it to whatever shape you want. It looks like a butter slime because of the color, but really it's a sugar slime and it's so nice. Super sugar rush for reals right here. You can make your slime and eat it too. This next no glue slime is one of the weirdest ones I've ever tried. Um, it's face mask, a little bit of that, and then you're going to add in this peroxy care toothpaste, and you're going to stir it up. And at first, I didn't really want to do anything, so I added a little more face mask to see if it would come together then, and it still wasn't doing anything, so I added some more toothpaste. <laughs> so it actually came together when I added extra toothpaste, and look at this isn't it really cool this is super cool it's got a little fluffy texture and it's not really as stretchy as the other ones but it's a super fluffy little slime it's like a little cloud for this no glue slime we're gonna need some water and some paint I'm using this green you can use whatever color you want any dyes you don't have to use paint even and then I'm gonna bring in some glitter because I want some sparkle up in my slime to that, I added a teaspoon of psyllium husk, and I'm gonna microwave it for 20 seconds at a time. And I believe I did this for like two minutes, and look at the jiggle, guys. My slime got some moves. Next up, we're gonna make a one ingredient slime using a kneaded eraser. I like the general brand better, so that's the one I'm gonna use. And after, it took me forever to get this package open because I have fake nails and they give me heartache sometimes. So I used a knife and of course, be careful. If you're gonna use knives instead of scissors, always be careful. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch your kneaded eraser and make it more flexible so it's more stretchy, obviously. Once you're done stretching, you're gonna make this here elephant. No, just kidding. Work. I just, I just wanted to show you that because it was really cool. We could model an elephant with this stuff. Amazing. So anyway, the one ingredient you're going to add to this General's uh, kneaded eraser is hollow. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so the um, eraser is slime by itself, but I wanted to make it pretty. So I'm adding some hollow glitter and you want to add the, the fine glitter or and sometimes the, even the medium glitter but never the large glitter because that would just fall out and that would not be pretty or fun. So I'm just adding in glitter and then I'm just gonna mix it in or actually fold it in. And this kneaded eraser is going to be awesome. It's gonna be super pretty. How fun is this? It's kind of like a cloud slime actually. Here's another one ingredient slime for you. We're gonna take Elmer's tack. And this is stuff you can put on the walls too and put your posters up, but it's gonna be even better. So you stretch it out and then we're gonna add in some hand wash to it or hand soap. And we're just gonna mix it in. And yes, this is going to get dirty, but the end result guys, oh, it's so soft and so buttery. You're going to love it. So it wasn't stretchy enough, so I added in a little bit more. And guys, look at this consistency, it's so stretchy and it's getting so soft. Look, oh my gosh, it's, it's really like butter slime. I saw this next recipe on another channel on YouTube and you're supposed to put some three in one and an equal part of three in one. I know, pretty redundant. Um, I got two different flavors, I guess not flavors, but uh, scents, and um, we still see, will this work? Will this make slime, or is this a fake? I decided to add some color just because um, we can see it better, and I wanna be able to see it, and then mix it up. After that, you're gonna add in a pinch of salt, or maybe two pinches. That was a big pinch, but here we go. So we're gonna mix this up, and guys, it looks like it's come together. 
Yeah, this is really, this This is thickening up. I'm really excited, guys. Oh my gosh. And it's not sticky. It's not sticking to me. It's forming a cute little slime ball. Look at this. And I'm so glad I colored it. I love the blue on red. Look, you can even roll this on you. It's a little jiggly slime. This is perfect. I never would have thought that three in one and three in one shampoos would have worked. This is super cool. Love it. I wanted to see what would happen if I set this one out. So I set it out on my counter for three days and this is what I got. Um, it's got really sticky. It's not the cute little jiggly ball it used to be. So this is one you want to play with immediately and then toss. For this no glue slime, we are going to use some body wash and some three in one shampoo, equal parts of each. I'm just gonna mix them together. And I noticed it wasn't coming together, so I added in a little more of the body wash. And guys, this one is an awesome little slime. Look at this little guy. He's a little jiggly piece of slime, so this is a great one. If you have nothing else but shampoo and body wash, you can do this one too. Another cool slime you can do is using some air dry clay and adding water to it. All you have to do is stretch, 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 and guys, you have some instant butter slime. Then you can add some sparkle or not, smooth as butter. The small coconut shampoo works so good, I want to make a bigger one. So I put twice as much in my bowl, colored it green, and I'm gonna stick it in my freezer this time for 20 minutes. Here it is after I froze it for 20 minutes, guys. Look at this. You can actually fold this one on itself and hold it. Did you know you can make slime out of Play-Doh? Yeah, you can. So get your Play-Doh and get some lotion and put them together, guys. It gets so stretchy and so soft. This again is like a amazingly smooth butter slime, guys. And I like to add glitter to mine. You don't have to do that, but I love the sparkle and shine it gives me, so smooth it out and enjoy.